What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm bringing you, as you can see, the Jordan 1 High OG Royal Toe. Got these in a few days ago from the Nike sneakers, early access drops. So I just wanted to give you all up close on that uh, before we jump in. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel for more content. Uh, give me a like, that'll help it out. And definitely comment uh, your feelings towards this pair right here. Um, also, if you were able to actually cop, um, if you missed out, uh, I actually think that they just did a restock on the finish line earlier today, but I didn't really see anyone who had any luck with getting them. Um, so, you know how it goes. Um, so let's jump right here into this detail. So um, I do like this pair. Um, not a lot to explain as, as it being one of the Jordan 1 uh, silhouettes. It's the high top. Um, OG cut, uh, not the, the OG OG cut, but just your high cut here. Um, you're gonna get the front royal toe base, the black, the blue. Um, in the middle, you're gonna get that white in the uh, middle. You're also gonna get the clean white baseline, so it's different than the cell that they've been doing. So I actually love this. Uh, I would have loved to have had the bread toes be white instead of cell, uh, but they went with cell. Still was a great color combination, but white would have just hit so much cleaner. Um, up here, this is one of the things that I'm not the biggest fan of, but it didn't break the shoe, was the white uh, painted uh, Air Jordan Wings logo. Um, but it, it, it gives the shoe some pop. Um, keep the black on the base here. Uh, your two shoe strings you're gonna get is gonna be the black and the blue. Uh, I'm not sure why they don't just include white as a, a third shoe string with all of them now because white looks good on most. Uh, these I'm actually fine with just keeping the black shoe strings in though, just because there's enough color going around on the shoe that black doesn't look bad. And typically I like to either match the tongue with the shoe strings uh, it just looks better to me unless it's a color that isn't shown as much on the shoe so if this had less blue on it maybe i would go with a blue or if it didn't have that much white on it maybe i would do a white um for the tongue tag you can see that it actually gets that new tongue tag treatment um i'm not sure what this is all about with these if anyone knows in the comments let me know i've heard rumors on what people think it was that they weren't going to be making the shoe how they used to be or this was going to kind of separate the new generation of ones from the um, older ones uh, i am completely not sure on why they're switching the tag on some of them but if, if anyone has a confirmed uh, reason i'd love to know down in the comments so definitely let me know that uh, as far as the material goes on these uh, i like the material uh it's pretty similar to the court purples it just released not too long ago but um some of the leather parts are really nice so one thing i noticed when i got these in was up here was really good leather uh, and it just seems to be a little different uh on the the mid panel and the toe box so um i'm not sure how everyone's leather came but these aren't a bad pair. Now I will say, when these were first drawn up, uh, everyone knows that we kind of had a a a bread toe mock up with just the blue. Um, so the blue is actually right on these back panels. This up here was black, so it's different. Then this popped up, and I think that let a lot of people down. So at first, I will say that I wasn't too hype with the shoe. Um, but when an actual pick came out that showed and in hand, um, they did pop a lot more. So once that actual uh, pick came out, that first showing, it actually grew on me a lot instantly. So I was actually pretty hyped when, those, when that happened. Um, I was glad to get access uh, from sneakers. So that was pretty cool. But uh, again, here's a clean look for you guys. Hopefully if you want a pair, you're able to get one or you will be able to get one. Uh, you have the blue Nike Air down there. Of course, I wear a size 11. 
That's just me. And yeah, but I, I, I love this pair. And I'm glad to see that they turned out good. Um, so again, guys, let me know your thoughts on these. Definitely subscribe to the channel for more content. I have a few other videos I need to put up. I haven't been able to put up those DMP6s yet. The, uh, the quote unquote fire red fives. I don't really like the name of that. Um, and also the court purple 2.0. So, uh, I'm going to upload those when I can. Um, but I wanted to get these out to you because I know everyone doesn't have these in hand yet or was able to get a pair. They were a lot more limited than, um, I think was led to believe, uh, it was a lot easier to get the core purple. So I was glad I got my exclusive pair and I was able to cop another pair on uh, Foot Locker, uh, size 11 and a half though. Um, but yeah, and I appreciate everything you guys definitely tune in for the next videos and until next time, peace out.